Welcome back to Charlie's Kitchen. So I wanted to bring you guys my dinner meal up close and personal. As most of you already know, I am allergic to corn. So this is not my plate, okay? But I did make two different vegetables. So I made corn for my family and um, broccoli for myself, okay? So this is the first plate. As you can see, um, the gravy is mixed in with the chicken. It really um, tied in really well together. Uh, I put bell peppers in there. As you know, if you watch my live today, um, I said when I came back home, I was going to make sure to, you know, get a bag of onions so that I could saute them and add them to my meal. So I did that. You can see the onions in there with the bell pepper. It's over jasmine rice. I also, in um, my butter corn that you see here, that's what it is. So you go ahead and basically put your butter in your pan, right? And then you're going to saute your onions. When you get the onion sauteed to the consistency that you want, then you go ahead and add a can of corn, uh, the kernel corn, and then season it as you go. So let that mix in first. Um, I've made butter corn before when I used to could eat corn. I used to make it more. Um, but basically you could put your onions, you could put your bell pepper. I would normally use the red bell pepper when I do it um, as well. And then put the onions in there. Then add my corn like I was just telling you guys, right? Put some garlic salt a little seasoned salt, a little black pepper, and parsley. That's all I use today. And then I have my daughter to taste it. She's like, Mom is on point as always. You know, not tooting my own horn, but I'm tooting my own horn. <laughs> Being that I haven't been able to eat corn now for, what is it, almost three years. And it's crazy because I grew up eating corn. You know, I know I'm getting off topic, but I grew up eating corn. And when I turned, I want to say about 38, it started breaking me out in hives. I was getting itchy, redness, you name it. You know, almost felt like I couldn't breathe because my tonsils were closing up and whatnot. Started having a reaction out of this world to corn that I've been eating my whole life. Crazy. So my doctor basically told me, that if I was to eat corn again, it could be deadly for me. So cut it out quite a few years ago now. But needless to say, my family still eats it. I just have to make sure that if I'm using utensils or whatever, I can't use the same utensils for my stuff because then that will give me another reaction. Actually, I went out to dinner with one of my, um, my girlfriends and had a situation with corn. They had put corn in the rice. I thought I could pick it out. Had another allergic reaction. So now I'm realizing this is really my life. <laughs> but anyway, let's go on and get into our next plate here. So our next plate, as you can see, has the same chicken with the gravy. Um, excuse that. That That's my doggy Simba. So... He's outside right now, so I don't know if you heard him barking, so excuse that. But, um, so, as I was saying before Simba interrupted me, it has the same onions, bell pepper, and all of that, as you can see. But now we have the broccoli, just for me. So, there you go. Um, basically with the broccoli, oh, and something I forgot to tell you with the corn as well is that I also put minced garlic in there, like a half a teaspoon of minced garlic in um, the corn as well. But with the broccoli, I just basically steamed it. I tend to put a little bit of um, butter in my water um, and a little sea salt. That's pretty much it. After I took it out to put on my plate, I put a little black pepper on top and that was pretty much it okay so there you have it both meals so you can see up close and personal um, 
I said this on my live, but those of you that might not have seen the live this morning, please make sure to check that out. Make sure that if you have not liked it, you like it. Send me a message or what have you about what you thought with the new setup in the live as well. Because a lot of you guys were telling me that my live last time you want to be able to see the food more. And so I took note of that. So I wanted to get some feedback as far as what you thought with the live. But um, it was something else I was saying. And I just lost my train of thought. But definitely give me your feedback. If you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe. I mean, look what we're doing over here. You got to subscribe. Those of you that are new know the channel as um, Charlie's Kitchen. It was previously Enhance Your Appetite with Charlie. So I wanted to let you know new subscribers know that we did change it. Um, I thought it was time to do that going into 2024. I wanted to come with a new side of this channel and that's what I decided to do. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you guys liked everything you saw with the food and I'm about to chow down before my food gets cold. So I hope you guys are having an amazing hump day from my kitchen to yours. Bye bye everyone.